Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here. My entire family is working from home right now, so if you hear people talking in the background or like noises, there's really nothing I can do about it. We're all just kind of doing our jobs and um, yeah, so I, I apologize for that. Also, it's raining, so you know. But today I'm going to be doing a chat and try if you're new to my channel. It's kind of like a get ready with me, but I just try new products. And today I'm going to be trying Ojai Beauty, which I am super excited about. I've had my eye on Ojai Beauty, specifically this palette, the um, Magic Hour palette. Funny, last time I did a chat and try, I was doing Magic Hour stuff too for m cosmetics but ever since i saw this i've wanted to try it i'm not much of like a cool tone eyeshadow wearer so i'm really excited to try this because these are cool hyper pigmented shades so off camera well i did it on camera but um i put on just like some glossier am i in focus how long was i out of focus for Anyway, off camera, I put on some um, Glossier Stretch Concealer as just like a base, and then I put on the Undone Beauty um, Lip to Cheek Palette in the shade Rosewood. Shout out Chessie for the suggestion. It is like the most beautiful shade, and it's so dewy. I, I love my cloud paints, but this honestly might be like a little bit better in my opinion. It just like blends out so nicely, and I don't even have highlighter on yet, and it's like dewy yeah so i did that and then i just did my eyebrows with the absolute wrong shade i used the shade taupe and i could tell when i was doing it it's like a little yellow undertones and like it worked but um definitely not my shade i ordered a brow definer from anastasia beverly hills anastasia sorry um, but I picked up the brow definer online from Sephora and it is coming soon, so I'm gonna have the right shade eventually. But yeah, I like film in my brows again. I went through about two years where I just used brow gel and then I just started randomly filling in my eyebrows again and now I'm like, how did I ever not fill in my eyebrows every day? I don't know. Also, it's making me realize as I fill them in that this eyebrow is so much higher than this eyebrow. Like, do you see that? And on that note, let's go ahead and get into what I got from Ojai Beauty. Um, so you guys already saw I got the palette and then, oh, this is in the magic hour one. I know they have another one that's more like warm tone, but you know, I, this one just drew my eye. These colors like inspire me so much. Um, but I also got the Ojai Beauty lip jelly. Yeah, lip jelly in the shade peach. And I actually have been using this. This is the only thing that I've tried and I'm, I'm not really a fan, honestly, like, I feel like it it's like okay but it doesn't like moisturize my lips that well like it looks pretty um but it doesn't like sink into your lips like other lip products I've tried I feel like it just kind of sits there and then like goes away when I drink something or like lick my lips I don't know I got the shade peach and it's okay but like for eight dollars for this little thing um, I just know there's better chapsticks and lip balms out there that do such a better job than this. So I honestly wasn't really a fan of this. I love the flavor, like smell of it, but um, yeah, it's just not doing it for me. So then I got these drops, the highlighter liquid pearl job drops. Blech. And this is in the shade Glimmer. I read on the packaging that you can mix this in with your face products or you can kind of use it as highlight. Um, since I already did my base, I'm just gonna kind of like do drops and do highlight everywhere. Then I got the mini mascara, and this is mini. Like, it is super mini. I was shocked. So, this is like the wand. You guys see how tiny this is? I thought it was gonna be like telescopic, because the telescopic, or L'Oreal telescopic mascara is pretty tiny, but this one is like tiny. I, it's not even comparable to that wand, so. And then the last thing that I got is the... What is this called? The lip smudge and I got the shade Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio and I had to get it. <laughs> I would have picked this up anyway even if I wasn't a Scorpio. So it's just kind of this, um, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like a deep rosy color. A um, little bit of brown in there, just kind of like a couple shades darker than my natural lip color I'd say. Those were the five things that I picked up. They also had a gloss, um, which I didn't get, and then, I don't know. 
I don't know. These were just the ones that intrigued me and the ones that I actually saw myself using. And I don't wanna just buy products to just like buy products. So um, yeah, those are the ones I picked up. I think first what I'm gonna do is go into my face with the Ojai Highlighter Liquid Pearl Drops. Just in case I do too much, I'm gonna put it on my hand first and see how pigmented this is because I don't want to accidentally like put way too much on. So this is really pretty. I'm just kind of trying to blend the blush in with the highlight. It does kind of up close look like it's just sitting on my skin. It didn't really like sink in very well, but it's not like chunky or anything by any means or like clinging to dry patches, but it looks really natural. I think it's just when you get super close, you can kind of see it like sitting on my skin, but what product like doesn't do that, you know? I really like it, honestly. I'm excited to try it also like mixed into foundations and stuff, even though I don't really like wear too much foundation, but maybe just like putting a layer on and then doing like my normal base routine um, just to add like a little bit of glow. I don't really know. Um, so I guess I'm just going to move on to the eyes. I honestly have no idea what colors I want to do. I want to use every single shade. They all really intrigue me. So I think I'm really into this purple and this pink, like these two shades right here. And also this green, I really want to find a way to use it. But if I do these three shades, it's just going to be like insane. So I think what I'm going to do is just zoom you guys in and then create a look and talk about it after. I really don't know the look I'm going to create, but I'll figure something out. So I'm having a really hard time with the pigment on this or the, on this pink shade right here. So I might have to like have a change of plans. Just for fun, I'm gonna take some of the green, I think, in Peridot, I think it's pronounced, Peridot, it's definitely Peridot. Um, and I'm gonna do it like on the lower lashes. I wanted to do it on the inner corner, but I kind of already put that white there. You know what, I might just do like the inner corner and put it on top. I feel like that'll look a lot better with the look. Okay, so these are seriously like the most beautiful colors. If they actually showed up like this, I would be so happy, but the pigmentation just isn't there. 
Like this color right here in the shade Amethyst, I was so excited for this because you can just see it kind of like shifts and is just a stunning purple, but it just doesn't like show up like I want it to. I do really like the green, but I just feel like, so I used these three right here on my eyes and I kind of did like an inner side and outer side thing and it's just not kind of showing up how I want it to. They're a little bit powdery, um, not necessarily hard to work with, but they're just like not that pigmented and kind of like dissolve as you put them onto your eyelids. They're gorgeous colors, but they just don't really show up how I want them to. Maybe that's a part of their vibe. Maybe they want it to be really like natural, I guess. Not natural, you wouldn't put green in a natural eyeshadow palette, but I just mean maybe they want it to kind of be that dusty, um, really muted look. I don't know, it's just in the pan, they're not that muted, but then on your eyes, it kind of just doesn't show up as you would expect. But moving on to the mascara, I'm going to use this mini mascara and put it on my upper and bottom lashes. Guys, this is so random, but I had a dream last night. I was at Kathleen Light's house and for some reason, like I accidentally opened this huge bag of roaches and like her house was infested with roaches and then she just never invited me back ever again. It was so sad. Okay, so the mascara is okay. It's not my favorite. It was a really dry formula. So um, if you prefer like drier mascaras over super wet mascaras, maybe you'll like it but I just felt like it took me so long. I don't know, usually mascara doesn't take me that long, but I think because the brush was so small, it felt like it took me so long to coat each individual lash. Um, I love how it looks on my bottom lashes. I think I'll save it just to use as like a bottom lash mascara because it was so small, so it like worked really well for my bottom lashes. But for my top lashes, I usually like something that adds a little bit more volume, so. It's okay, like it's not bad, but I don't think it's like my new favorite mascara. And then last but not least, it is time for the lips. This is the lip smudge um, in the shade Scorpio. I'm just gonna kind of blot off a little of the lip jelly. Just so it's not like a completely different formula when I put it on. I'm interested to see the texture of these. If it's gonna be like Gen G from Glossier because the old Gen G kind of looked really similar to this. Okay, very different. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. <laughs> so this is a lot more hydrating than I thought it was gonna be. I love the color I got too. It's like such a pretty lip color, um, but it's very hydrating. I was not expecting that at all. Um, just because it looks similar to Gen G and the old Gen G's were like really drying on my lips But this is like a completely different formula. All right, you guys This is the finished look right here using my Ojai Beauty products. I think my favorites are These two the highlighting drops and the lip smudge. They really I love them and um, They worked great the palette I'm so sad about because the shades are just so beautiful, but the ones, like my favorite ones, didn't really show up how I wanted them to. I still think it looks pretty and you can see like the colors there, but it just doesn't have that like pop that I wanted it to have or the pop that they look like in the pan. Um, it kind of just shows up a little bit more dusty and muted. The lip smudge is okay, like I said at the beginning, just doesn't really like sink into my lips like I want a lip balm to. And then the mascara, um, I did like, but I just didn't love it and I'm gonna use it for my bottom lashes kind of going forward. Yeah, if you guys have Ojai Beauty, let me know what you think of it. Um, it does give me like Glossier vibes when I look at like the pictures and some of the products that they have, but um, it's it's different like it's really different. Obviously Glossier doesn't have an eyeshadow palette and um, Things like that, but um, it does give me like Glossier vibes like 
your skin but better kind of thing i don't even think they have like a foundation or anything like that but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this chat and try with ohi beauty let me know what you think of it also if you have some of these products let me know which ones are your favorite but yeah it was really fun i really enjoy trying new brands and i'm so excited to do more chat try chat i am so excited to do more chat and tries in the future um again i hope you all are staying safe and healthy and happy and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>